Hey guys, this is going to be a mid-month love and advice reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please visit the website. There's a selection there. Let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. You guys, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am so appreciative for those of you who have already. Let's see. Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate Christmas. And Happy New Year, if you were watching this before the new year. I am trying to get my stuff together. I am trying to be a, um, <laughs> an avid multitasker. I joke with my children all the time about how the older I get, it's like I have a hard time doing two things at once. So, and I used to be like all over the place, just doing all these different things, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see. Scorpio. This is where you are currently as a page of wands. Your challenge is the wheel of fortune hmm. your foundation is the tower your recent past is a queen of wands hmm. three of pentacles for your present huh ace of cups for your near future okay how you see yourself as judgment Ace of Swords in the environment. King of Swords in your hopes and fears. And the Nine of Cups for the potential outcome. Okay, so in the past, the Queen of Wands, you were very confident in yourself. You were very confident in how you maneuvered the decisions that you made. You felt like you knew yourself and you felt like, you know, in meeting others, you could pick out what was good and what was bad. I felt like you were very confident in yourself. Like, I mean, you're attractive, but um, I think your confidence went deeper than that. You know, you weren't just confident in the way that you looked that you could attract people or you could get people's attention. I think that you were confident as a person in general. You know, you felt like you were, you made good decisions. Um, you knew what was right for you. Okay. Now, now you're not so sure. You're not so sure because... You come as a page of wands here. So it's almost like you've been, you've been knocked backwards. Um, you have taken a few steps back because something happened here in your foundation. Something happened that put your world on fire. Um, this was something shocking to you that you did not expect. Something very shocking to you that you did not expect. Hmm. I feel like that um, you guys are having to start over here with the Page of Wands. You were very confident in the past, confident in yourself. Something shook you up 
to where now you're feeling like you're starting from ground one, floor one, and having to start anew. Maybe in the past you guys were with somebody and you broke up with that somebody and now either this person has come back or somebody new has come in and is coming very quick very quick because I feel like this is not something that's really really horrible it just took you by surprise here because all of your other cards are good cards other than this tower so I feel like this is just something that 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 shook you like you didn't expect it because what's crowning you is a three of pentacles. So if you've heard any of you know the other readings that I've done, um, a lot of times, most times for me, the three of pentacles is basically rebuilding. And it's rebuilding something that was already there. Okay? So this makes me feel like this is somebody that is has come back in your life because initially the foundation was was shook here and I feel like this foundation was in the past position at some point when the connection between you and this person ended now it's in your foundation when they come back and you guys are starting to rebuild the connection because what your challenge is over the page of wands is to let go. Is to let go of, you know, what has happened before between you and this person because the will of fortune is here. And the will of fortune spins out karma. Whatever you have put in, you get out in some shape, form, or fashion. Something good is coming your way. Your challenge is to allow it. Don't mess it up, okay? Do not mess this up, Scorpios, because I feel really good things coming from your reading. In your near future, we have the Ace of Cups. Look at that. New love. This is what God is bringing you. This is what that will is bringing you. Brand new love. How you see yourself is a judgment. You've decided. You've decided to let this love in. There is a need to not repeat mistakes, though. The mistakes that happened in the past that brought that tower moment when it was positioned in the past. Look here, you have two aces. This is what's in the environment. The ace of swords. And you know what that says to me? That says to me that, Danny, you are speaking the truth. This is a confirmation for you. This is a confirmation for you, Scorpio. That this is true. This is, this is love. This is love. This is also somebody realizing that this is love. This is real. This is something solid. Somebody knows the truth about you and them and the connection that you share between the two of you. This is what you, in your hopes and fears here, okay? Um, and I'm getting that you want to be the person that, or you want, 
okay, it can go vice versa. Whoever this is wants to be the person that is there for the other person. They want to be the person that their partner needs. They, it's like, you want calmness, you want to be able to talk things out if you have issues, you want to, you want this, this connection to go forward in a way to where you don't end up in a terror moment. Cause I feel like, you know, there were probably, um, arguments a lot or you want control of yourself to have control of your emotions. You don't want to blow your top. You just want to be, you know, look at this thing like as the as the woman or the man that you should be. I'm just going to say that. Look at this and your potential outcome. The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Happiness. You get what you want. You get what you want here. But let me tell you, I feel like there's something still holding you back a little bit. Because I think that there is a need for you to lock this thing in. So you can have the Ten of Cups. And that's just the feeling that I'm getting. It just hit me. Don't let this opportunity slip away. Is also what I'm getting strongly. Okay. So that's what I have for you, my Scorpios. And um, you guys have a happy new year. And again, Merry Christmas. I love you guys.